President Biden is pushing the nation's water utilities to replace lead pipes across the country within 10 years. The plan announced today comes a decade after the water crisis in Flint, Michigan, renewed concerns about the dangers of lead in tap water. Lead is a neurotoxin that can cause health defects, including brain damage. Children are especially at risk. The president made the announcement at a rally in Milwaukee today. The city has the fifth highest number of lead pipes in the U.S. What's the government for if it cannot protect the public health? And in the process, we're creating jobs. We're building a better America. And clean water is just one critical part. The new rule is the strongest such measure in roughly three decades. The EPA says the effort will prevent up to 1,500 premature deaths a year. The UK spy chief issued a stark warning today about a rise in assassination attempts by Russia and Iran. MI5 Director General Ken McCullum said his agents and police have stopped 20 Iran-backed plots since 2022. And he warned that increased violence between Iran and Israel could lead to more Iranian state aggression in the UK. In a rare public speech, McCollum also said that Russian military intelligence, called GRU, is waging a campaign to, in his words, generate mayhem on British and European streets. We've seen arson, sabotage, and more. Dangerous actions conducted with increasing recklessness and having precisely the opposite effect to what the Russian state intends in driving increased operation co operational coordination with partners across Europe and beyond. McCollum also warned of signs that the Islamic State group is attempting a comeback. He cited the deadly theater attack in Moscow earlier this year as a brutal demonstration of its capabilities. The Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to two pioneers of artificial intelligence, John Hopfield of Princeton University and Jeffrey Hinton, a University of Toronto professor known as the godfather of AI. In their announcement in Sweden today, the Nobel Committee credited Hopfield's work in creating a data processing model based on the functions of the human brain. Hinton built on that work to develop machines that learn by fine-tuning errors until they disappear. We spoke with Jeffrey Hinton last year, shortly after he left his post at Google, and he warned about the dangers surrounding the technology he helped create. We should realize that we're probably going to get things more intelligent than us quite soon, and they will be wonderful. They'll be able to do all sorts of things very easily that we find very difficult. So there's huge positive potential in these things, but of course there's also huge negative possibilities. And I think we should put more or less equal resources into developing AI to make it much more powerful and into figuring out how to keep it under control and how to minimize bad side effects of it.